Former Vice President of the Tokyo Electric Power Company, Sake Muto, arrives at court to hear his fate. He's followed in by Aichiro Takakuro, another former executive accused of professional negligence in the Fukushima nuclear disaster. The Tokyo High Court finds that they, together with former chairman Sune Issa Katsumata, were not responsible. The judge says they couldn't have foreseen the size of the tsunami that triggered the meltdown of the reactors. Outside court, protesters say they're disappointed by the ruling. I thought they'd be found guilty without a doubt, so I was really not expecting this verdict. It makes me wonder why the court found them not guilty. Most other lawsuits have found the power company guilty, so I can't understand why the criminal court is the odd one out. In March 2011, a magnitude 9 earthquake struck Japan's eastern coast. It triggered a tsunami that sent huge waves surging as far as 10 kilometers inland. The Fukushima nuclear plant was overwhelmed and seawater flooded its reactors. The radiation leak forced more than 150,000 people to flee. The High Court decision differs from a separate ruling in a civil case brought by shareholders. The former executives were ordered to pay $95 billion in compensation in July last year for failing to prevent the disaster. While this ruling is the end of any criminal proceedings, those affected say they won't stop fighting for justice. Victoria Gatenby, Al Jazeera.